morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today we're going to be walking around one of our fresh trades. It's a 2020 Winnebago Intent 28Y. Uh, so more of an entry level gas motorhome, perfect for those first time RVers. Um, at only 28 feet, 9 inches overall length. It's great for those of you who still want to get into those uh, you know, national parks and things, but still get some of the space that comes with the Class A. Uh, notice, just while we're panned out there, we've got about a 20-foot electric, electric awning. So that's power extend, power retract. The button to retract it is just right in here. And just for time's sakes, we're not going to put it all the way in, but we'll show you just a little bit. But pretty much hold the button, and it'll retract and go flush up there with the motorhome. Uh, we'll go ahead and walk around the outside first, and then we'll head inside. In this first compartment here, we've got two... 100 amp hour AGN or deep cycle uh, house batteries. Those are just going to be used to run your lights, your TVs, things like that when you're not plugged in. Back behind that, we've got a nice big storage compartment here. Uh, it is waterproof, so you know if something spills in here, it's really not a big deal. But up in this corner there, we also have a battery disconnect switch that's going to be for deep storage or long-term storage if you're putting it away for the season you can turn that off to keep these house batteries from dying back here this is going to be our water bay so a couple things going on there we've got dual water pumps as well as our drains for winterization so low point drain for the hot water line low point drain for the cold water line and then the siphon tube, so when it's time to winterize, we'll just dump this down into a bucket of antifreeze. It'll suck antifreeze through the entire system, just to make it a little bit easier on you. This coach does feature the outside kitchen. So with that, we get a nice small refrigerator here. Perfect for that beer, wine, soda while you're out camping. Nice little storage drawer. More storage down below, and then just a little pull-out table here, just to some prep space. 32-inch TV on a pull-out arm, so you can pull that out so you don't have to sit and try and look into that compartment. When you're done, just push it back in, it goes away. Hot and cold water sink. Now this sink is kind of cool because it does not drain, uh, just to save water, so there's a switch right over here that'll turn on a pump to drain that sink. And then just a bottle opener as well as a coat hook. Coming around the back, fiberglass rear cap. Really nice looking rear end with the Winnebago logo and everything on it. Up top we do have a full HD color backup camera. And then down below, two inch receiver with a 5,000 pound towing capacity as well as a seven pin connector for those trailer brakes, trailer lights, or your tow vehicle lights. Put that cover back on there. This coach does come with a ladder, so if you needed to access the roof or something, um, you could if you wanted to. Now on the roof, we do have one 15,000 BTU air conditioning as well as 170 watts of solar, which will keep you off the grid just a little bit longer. Now on the passenger side, Nice big storage here. That storage is actually underneath the bed inside the motorhome. So we'll show you where that is. An Onin Quiet Gas 4000 watt generator. Now that is more than enough power to run your air conditioning, your microwave, your lights. Uh, just if you don't have that external power source, you always have a backup right here. In front of that, this is more of a utility bay, or utility bay. So we've got our 30 amp power cord, just pulls out. And then we've got the, the drain for your gray and black tank. So gray valve, black valve, and then there's a ho hole right here in the bottom, maybe. So we can actually just run that sewage hose directly out of that hole. If you're staying somewhere for an extended period of time, you can leave it hooked up and close this door. Uh, make sure it stays locked. Right here, we've got just a couple things. So one, this is a port for an external solar panel. So if you have an additional solar panel, you can plug it in there, you know, set it 20, 30 feet away from the coach and have additional charging power. 
satellite in if you uh, if the campground you're staying at has satellite then you can plug it in right there same with that one and then your fresh water inlet hose or inlet valve and then last but not least a black tank uh, flush valve so what that is is a sprinkler system inside of your sewage tank you can hook the hose up to it uh, make sure you open that tank up and then it'll actually sanitize that tank right here we've got just another big storage compartment and then over on the far side we do have some more winterization stuff so we've got some diagrams there for your valves uh, there is a false panel right there to drain that freshwater tank if we pulled that panel off you would actually see the freshwater tank and then last exterior storage compartment we've got two propane bottles i really like this because when you run out of propane you can actually just unscrew this one or these bottles will pop out and you can take them and go fill up if you're staying somewhere for an extended period of time, you don't have to break down camp, drive the motor home over, get them filled up, and then uh, bring it back and get camp reset up. So really kind of a cool feature that Winnebago did there. And then right here, we've got the hydraulic pump for your hydraulic leveling. So all those are going to run is your four jacks underneath. We'll get to that in just a minute. So. We've got a side view camera here. Now that's gonna be a full color HD camera as well. Um, it really does eliminate blind spots. When you turn on your left blinker, this camera would come on just to eliminate those blind spots, make driving a little safer. While we're here, the stock number for this unit is 5U210546. Again, it's a 2020 Winnebago Intent 28Y. So this entire motorhome is built on a Ford F53 chassis, which is gonna be powered by the Ford V10, the Triton V10. It's gonna put out 468 foot-pounds of torque and 325 horsepower, more than enough power for a small motorhome. Again, 28 feet, nine inches overall length, one of the smallest class A's you can get. Right here, we've got that other side view camera, so you do have it left and right side, just depending on which blinker you're using. And that's gonna bring us to the inside. Actually, one more thing here. Right here, we've got a Pet Pal, kind of a cool little feature. Just, it's built there, so that you can put uh, your dog leashes on it. If your dog is sitting outside, you can tie them up. That way they can't leave. It's already there, so you don't have to tie them up to the step or anything. So as we come in here, I do have the slide outs closed right now, just so you can see what it's like completely closed up. So um, I can walk back here. I can get to the bedroom. I could lay on this bed if I wanted to. I can get to the bathroom just fine and then I can also access the refrigerator. So it's pretty nice and simple there. We'll go ahead and get them out now. I gotta turn the key on. Winnebago does things a little bit differently. You have to have the key in the ignition or the ignition on and the parking brake set to be able to put your slides out. So this is a triple slide model. So you've got this one, the kitchen, and then the bedroom. Now the bedroom slide's going out. And then last but not least, the kitchen slide. So we're actually going to start in the cab today and then we'll kind of work our way back. Uh, not a whole lot to see in this motorhome in the cab, but over here on the left side, we do have a uh, power mirror adjustment so we can move that top mirror uh, both left and right side. And then we have a mirror heat switch for uh, those cold and foggy days to keep your windows nice and clean or your mirrors nice and clean. Up in the front here, we've got a power nightshade. That's going to be a full privacy blackout shade. And then 
battery boost switch so if your chassis battery ever died the one that starts your engine we could pull power from those two house batteries you saw and start the engine standard cruise control on the uh, steering wheel on the blinker if we turn that left blinker on we'll go ahead and look at this left side of the motorhome now obviously I have the slides out so it just looks a little funky uh, this is with that Triton V10 it does come with the torque, torque shift 6 speed automatic transmission with the tow haul mode if you're towing a trailer or a car or something you want to put it in tow haul mode just so your transmission doesn't have to work as hard standard HVAC controls here and then last but not least we have the uh, automatic leveling so all you have to do hit the power button hit the auto level button your jacks are gonna go down it's gonna one take all the you know sway out of the su suspension two it'll make sure that you're perfectly level both of these seats in this motorhome do swivel around so we can turn them around uh, just for an extra sp place to sit while we're camping and then I'm gonna grab one thing here Back in this back cabinet, there is a little bit of storage for just a little table that you can set up in between these chairs. So someone could be sitting here, you know, cocktail hour, just hanging out. Uh, that driver's seat will turn around and sit just like this one does. But it really just gives you a little better versatility while you're out with the guests. And then push it around and we're there. This does have a drop down bunk as well just for some extra sleeping. We'll go ahead and put it down really quick. So that's a pretty nice, pretty much queen size bed there. Access to storage up there underneath the mattress is a good place to keep the ladder. Push this mattress back down and now You've got a nice big area where even a full-size adult could sleep if they needed to. This ladder just rotates on there like that. So um, very easy to get up onto. You've got some extra storage up there and plenty of room to sleep. Coming over into the uh, kind of the kitchen area, I guess, we've got two really big, nice cabinets plenty of storage you see it's a pass through all the way through so if you needed to you could put longer things in these cabinets as well nice booth dinette plenty of room for four people to uh, sit and eat you have two cup holders here just you know while you're driving down the road so your things aren't moving around you can sit in this dinette you would sit on this side because this side's going to have the two seat belts that pop out of it and they're right there so two lap belts just for extra safety. That gives you the ability to seat four people in this motorhome while you're driving down the road. Right here in the middle, we've got pretty much a 43-inch TV. That is going to be an HD TV um, capable of, you know, if you have a DVD player or something you put in it, you can run that all right there. In the kitchen, dual bowl under mount sink. Huge cabinet up top here with a shelf. Now this shelf is adjustable. We can put it, move it up and down as we need. Two 110 volt outlets for those, you know, coffee pots, toasters, that kind of thing. And then a little microwave for making popcorn, reheating some spaghetti. Down below, three burner gas cooktop. And this motorhome actually has an oven, which is something you're seeing less and less of these days in the motorhome world really big drawer good pots and pan storage down below the oven the remotes the kitchen storage in this motorhome for a 28 foot motorhome is probably the best i've ever seen honestly just storage in general down below the sink more storage there there is room over here if you want to slide your trash can in and then two 100 two more 110 volt outlets in the center, this is just an, ele an electric refrigerator. It's not going to burn any of your propane. It will run off of the inverter while you're driving down the road. Another really big drawer there. And then in the back of the kitchen, a huge pantry. Um, I, I couldn't fill this if I was using it, so 
Uh, plenty of room, pots, pans, you know, cooking utensils, whatever you need, plenty of room for it there. And then in the bathroom, one thing I really like that Winnebago is doing is they put a towel rack on the door. Uh, motorhomes always have no places to put a towel other than the shower door, but Winnebago thought of it. Very nice feature. Up above the toilet in the bathroom, another really nice big cabinet here. And I will say for an entry level motorhome, these cabinets and everything, they do feel very solid. They don't feel cheap by any means. All your to toiletry storage, plenty, plenty of room, um, especially for a small motorhome. And then one nice big drawer here. And then another huge storage underneath the sink. You could put another trash can there if you wanted to. And then a really, really nice big shower. So I'm about six feet tall, still have plenty of head clamps here. You do have a sprayer here so you can take it off, move around as you need. Hot and cold water. Easy to maintain fiberglass pan there. Just reseal it every once in a while and you'll be just fine. Which is gonna bring us back into the bedroom area. So queen bed on this motorhome. Um, really cool thing underneath the bed. First of all, watch how easy that was. Uh, these gas props are awesome underneath this bed. I don't even have to hold on to it, it just goes up. So Winnebago did something very, very interesting here. So there's a little metal piece on this bed and it says Pet Palace. So, and then there's this little sliding door that just pops out. So you could set this up if you got a small dog, cat, that kind of thing. You could set this up to be kind of your pet pet's little uh, like hideout area, just where they can sleep and relax and get away from everything. So very interesting that Winnebago did it, but it's really cool. On either side of the queen bed, we do have two 110 volt outlets as well as two 12 volt USBs. And then up above, two huge cabinets for extra bedroom storage. And then coming around to the front, just a really big hanging wardrobe. So full pass through here. More than enough space for two or three people uh, to hang all their clothes. Back on this back corner is where that storage for the table and post that I set up in the beginning was. Really big wardrobe drawers. And then two more here. And then a nice area right here where you can put your phone, key, wallet, cell phone, whatever you need. There are little blinds on all the windows in this motorhome just for additional privacy. And then up top we've got 32 inch TV for, that's dedicated for the bedroom. So coming into the middle of this motorhome, um, this is where we're going to see our Winnebago one place, our Winnebago control panel. So up in the top here, we do have uh, the control for that drop down bunk in the front. So you got to master on and off just to make sure no one messes with it. Now to put this bed up or down, the parking brake has to be set and the key has to be in the on position. Right here we've got the slide out controls, driver side front, driver side rear, passenger side front. Just the push of a button and they'll come in or out, very simple. And then this is our actual Winnebago one place. So we can look at our battery levels, our fresh tank level, our black tank level, and our gray tank level. Now while we're talking about that, you have 48 gallons of fresh water, 45 gallons of gray water, and 31 gallons of black water. So really nice sized storage tanks for a smaller motorhome. Your water heater control, now this does have a six gallon gas uh, hot water heater. So just turn that on, that's gonna fire the propane side of the hot water heater just to make sure, or just to warm up your water. And then water pump on and off and then generator start and stop. Now as a used 2020, this coach, the generator has 15.9 hours on, so 16 hours, very, uh, very few hours. On the left side here, we've got our ZAMP solar controller. There's really not a lot that you need to do with that. Um, it's gonna tell you your battery voltage, so right now we're sitting in 12.5 volts, more than enough power to run our TV, our lights, that kind of stuff. Um, but that 170 watts of solar right now, this blue light is indicating that it is charging. So. If I let it sit for a little while, we'd probably get a full charge out of it. Right here, we've got the control for our HVAC. So 
This is gonna be for the furnace as well as the 15,000 BTU air conditioning. The furnace on this coach is a 30,000 BTU, more than enough heat to warm up this coach. Um, and then the 15,000 BTU air conditioning is ducted throughout the coach so that you'll actually get even airflow throughout it. And then inverter control on and off. Um, so that's just to convert 12 volt power to 110 volt power. That's what you're going to use if you're boondocking and want to watch TV or something. Don't want to run the generator, you turn on your inverter and then select outlets will to come on so that you can use the power of the batteries. Um, one thing I did forget to mention while we were in the cab area, this motorhome has 3,455 miles on it. So, I mean, it's practically a brand new motorhome. Um, inside it is as clean as can be there's no damage on the outside either if you have any questions about this motorhome feel free to give me a call at 303-482-6375 or shoot me an email at brian.moritz at transwest.com thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you next week